हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल मैं हूँ आपका अपना डीसी टेक्निकल एंड टूडे वी टॉक अबाउट एंड्रॉइड थर्टीन रॉम फॉर शॉमी लॉम टी प्रो और फॉर एनी डिवाइस यू वॉन्ट टू इंस्टॉल एज वी आर गोइंग टू यूज अ जी एस आई इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो बिफोर द बिगनिंग ऑफ द वीडियो आई वुड लाइक यू टू टेल आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट द बैटरी बैकअप विच आई विल बी शोइंग इन द वीडियो इज विथ वाई फाई ब्लूटूथ एंड लोकेशन सेटिंग्स स्विच ऑन परमानेंटली and some tweaks which will be shown in the video so let's just begin before the beginning of this video i would like you to like the video subscribe to the channel and do share it with your friends you never know who you gonna help with one share so let's just get started and pardon me for my voice in this video or the video quality because i am not feeling well do focus on the content i have tried to make this video a content rich one starting with my video disclaimer don't go on the quality of the video heal the content so first of all i would like to show you the battery backup which i got after the usage of 3 days i have i have been using this rom from past 5 days After use of three days, you see I have taken the extreme shot yesterday, and at one percent I was on seven hour fifty three min minutes of screen on time with phone idling eighteen hours twenty two minutes like a full day of battery backup with seven hours of SOT more than seven hours seven hour fifty three minutes around eight hours. and you know this is the best battery backup i have ever got on this particular phone that is Xiaomi 11T Pro and spoiler i would like to give you this that on this particular rom that is superior os 13 everyone knows that this phone and a snapdragon 888 in it this particular chipset have heating issues it heats a lot but i'm surprised this particular phone this particular rom isn't heating this chipset this processor a lot like it's totally cool if you can see that very well that i am using this phone at full brightness it is on full brightness and you can check there when i go to battery battery setting you can see a temperature battery temperature is 29 degrees celsius you can check on mi ui you will never get it below 13 in india believe me you will never get it below 13 in india okay now how am i getting this pure battery backup i would like to tell you people each and every step first of all do one thing just go to your apps open your system app so system apps See, I have disabled few particular apps like Android Secure uh, Accessibility Suite. I am not using any services of that. Disabled Android Auto, no need. Disabled. Okay, some particular apps which I never used is disabled by me. Like printing services is also disabled. Inbuilt camera is disabled because I use Gcam, so I have disabled it. Inbuilt contact app disabled. Default printing service was not. Uh, there was no option of disabled, so I what I did I used ADB commands to uninstall this. You can check on internet, and there is an app available on GitHub, which you can use in Windows or Linux to disable your inbuilt apps. Digital well-being. This app uses a lot of battery, and I don't know who use this. But I mean, I I never use it, so I I disabled it. And I will show you each and every app which I have disabled. Gallery was not available to disable, so I have uninstalled it using ADB. See, you have to do some things in order to get better battery backup. Here is. you can see launcher launcher why i have used this launcher because there are certain apps like sim services or du dual sim app installed on this rom to give you 
dual sim services and sim services you have sim settings you can disable those apps in, you need those in order to get your device working and there is no option to hide apps in the inbuilt launcher so i have used launcher from play store to hide those apps gcam mod i am using element lmc and you can see mi pay service disabled like each and everything which was not in use by me and does not create problems in working on phone is disabled please keep a check on what all apps i'm saying that i have disabled Wire is the browser which is particularly pre-installed in this ROM superior disabled because I use Brave. So you have to install uh, and install some apps. This is the first thing. Second, just go to your settings, search for usage access. Usage. You will get usage access here. Just open this usage access and open usage access just disabled disable this usage access for google play services i have enabled it to show you people that you have to disable it disable it digital well-being disable it you device health it, let it enable for device health okay you don't need to worry about anything it will device will for, for perfectly fine <clears throat> disable it for play services okay so these are the things which i am using to get this battery backup and i am using this phone on 120 fps only this battery backup was on 120 fps only it's not on like 60 fps now when it comes to charging times it exactly same what I have tested it in Pixel Experience and what I have tested it in CR Droid based on Android 12, same exactly same in Android 13. Any ROM you use, same battery charging speeds. So I have, haven't included charging uh, like charging test in this video because it will just waste, waste your time. Included battery results because it was amazing. Next, I would like to tell you one thing which is very important in this particular device i don't know about others because i haven't tested it xiaomi 11 t pro those who have tested this phone with android 13 gsis must be knowing that there is problem with volt voice over lt that you can't receive incoming calls in this phone when you are using android 13 gsi why this happens because the PHS terrible settings, terrible settings, the IMS settings in the travel is strongly recognizing the, the vendor of our phone as pre S vendor. You can see very well. It's written pre S vendor. Actually, our phone have S vendor. It's not pre S vendor. So when we are installing the IMS using this particular option it's installing the wrong apk and that's why we are not able to use incoming call warning when you are installing android 13 after watching this video i just want to warn you that don't install ims from this option install ims apk don't touch it just ignore it install the ims from the link which is given in the description box below just download it is a direct download link of that ims apk simply switch on these two options request ims op network and force 4g calling settings just tick on these two options and install that particular apk don't touch this uh, settings install don't touch it just install that particular apk from the link okay now i will would like to show you some particular settings which this device need you need to do in this device in order to be uh, you know ph settings in order to work the, with the device use alternative audio policy and disable sound volume effect else there will be a lot of jitterness in your sound 
and you have to disable stereo output on VOIP else on Microsoft Teams call you know you can, the sound is like Chip and Dale's or some baby speaking so fast so you have to uh, use this option in order to correct the pitch Xiaomi feature double tag to wake up I don't use it sunlight mode I don't use it okay those features out of the pocket gestures I don't use it because I love my battery backup miscellaneous features what I use in miscellaneous is C keep an eye on this option there are two options available under display settings that is set rounded corner diameter just click on it set it to 35 by default it will be on minus one and on the second force fakes rounded corner set it all to 35 2 it will also be on minus one why if you don't do it then your time and battery will move out of your screen when you will do the first boot now you will see that they are out of your screen just do it 35 and it will fix force fps to 120 hertz in order to get your 120 hertz working okay full force alternative backlight scale in order to stop flickering sometimes your screen will flicker flicker and you won't be able to adjust your brightness a lot if you haven't enabled this particular option okay these are the particular options you need to enable in order to get your phone working perfectly customization features all up to you your preference you need to you use this device you have the authority to do whatever you want so these are some particular settings which you need to do in order to get this particular ROM or device working okay this is not a review of this ROM this is you know not a review of this phone or something this was just a mere review of how to use Android 13 custom ROMs in this particular phone that is Xiaomi 11 G Pro you can use any particular ROM you want actually by the time I was planning to make a video on Android 13 I'm a CR Droid lover but the problem was that at that particular time CR Droid was having safety net issues and I am not willing to I was not willing to install magisk in order to fix it so I just switched to superior and it was also good and you can check here there is an option of superior lab please focus yeah superior lab when you go to superior lab you can see there are a lot of options available same as CR Droid you can see that there are a lot of options status bar a lot of settings in status bar quick settings buttons everything you have now just in case if you are wondering why I am in airplane board so because this is my primary device so, so I don't want this video to get interrupted by any notification or calls that's why I have just put it on the airplane mode you can see each and every customization settings is available and the best setting which is available in this phone which I love is display dark theme use black theme this is the best thing I love about this if you don't use this you can see that gray tint on the screen this is Android default tint but using black screen turn it to totally black and on AMOLED displays it I just love this one last thing before ending of this video just in case if you are wondering then how to enable 5g settings in this phone as there is no option available inside sim settings of 5g then I would like to tell you just go to your dialer put the code star has four six 36 star hash star hash and it will open this menu just go to phone information and enter this menu change this option from LTE WCDMA GSM to NR LTE WCDMA GSM this will enable 5G on your phone Coming to the installation part of the video, if you want to install any Android 13 GSI 
or this particular superior OS GSI which I am using, then I would like to tell you that the installation procedure is exactly same as what I have shown in the Pixel Experience installation video. Do check it, that video is the same as it is, no step changed. You have to just download superior OS or whatever OS you like that GSI instead of Pixel Experience 1. That's it. So before ending this video, I would like you people to like this video, subscribe to my channel and do share it with your friends. You never know whom you're gonna help with just one share. So this is DC Technical logging off. Jai Hind.